particular cruelty, irony, that it is their core viewers, the Republican older viewers, as Eric said, who are the most at risk, Democrats. So they're going to be, I hate to put it in these terms, they're going to be less Democrat deaths. But I think now the name of the game is how do they get back on planet Earth? What the fuck? According to Trump officials, a foreign disinformation campaign is currently being waged on the public to incite panic. You could have fooled me. Our own media is doing a pretty good job of inciting panic all on their own. You would think that the media would forego their usual agenda and try to bring the country together, but instead they're actually just pushing their own disinformation campaign in an attempt to undermine their own president during a crisis. Not just any crisis, maybe the biggest crisis any of us have ever faced. And they wonder why an increasing amount of people distrust them. At least eight New York Times authors and one CNN correspondent pushed these deceptively edited quotes yesterday on Twitter. One of them even doubled down after being called out for their hackery. The quote came from Trump's conference call with governors yesterday, where he said, so We are backing you in terms of uh, equipment and getting what you need. Also, the uh, respirators, ventilators, all of the equipment, try getting it yourself. We will be backing you, but try getting it yourself. Point of sale, much better, much more direct if you can get it yourself. It's that last part that they're all leaving out, trying to frame it as if Trump's telling them that they're on their own. When, in fact, he's just telling them the truth. If they can get the equipment through point of sale faster, then they should do it. It just makes sense. That sounds like good advice to me. But our media is only interested in the election and being attack dogs for Democrats. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. The experts at My Patriot Supply have told me that orders have now reached about 100 times the normal volume and they're shipping on a first come, first served basis. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. So we have eight New York Times hacks setting out on Twitter and sharing an article, but only providing part of the quote, leaving out the crucial context and completely misrepresenting it. Even the CNN high priest of journalistic purity, Oliver Darcy, got in on the misleading propaganda. Yes, Oliver Darcy, the guy who said this. It seems like these hosts on some of the big shows over on Fox don't actually want to cover the serious public health threat that the coronavirus that exists. poses. Right. One more point, mm -hmm. uh, during public emergencies, whether it's a health crisis, whether it's a terror attack, a, a storm like a hurricane coming, people rely on organizations like this one, like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, they rely on news organizations to provide credible information. Yep. It's like I always say, people like Darcy have done all kinds of mental gymnastics in their heads to rationalize their hypocrisy, and they just simply see it as different when they do it. To him, it makes perfect sense that he calls legitimate criticism of the media conspiracy theories and fever swamps, while he actively engages in the very behavior that's being criticized. It wasn't just the fake journalists on Twitter and CNN. ABC News got in on this and actually tried to hit Trump using the mangled quote. It wasn't just the fake journalists on Twitter and CNN. ABC News got in on it and even tried to hit Trump using the mangled quote. The New York Times reporting that President Trump stunned some of the nation's governors in a conference call, telling them they should not wait for the federal government's help with respirators, ventilators, and other critical life-saving equipment, telling them they should, quote, try getting it yourselves. From the beginning, we've seen the media employ this tactic of purposely misrepresenting things that Trump has said. So back to the beginning of this video and the news that foreign enemies are sowing panic and fear in the population, and they're apparently doing it right alongside 
inside our former fourth estate. As if it wasn't scary enough to actually have to worry about virus outbreaks, food storage, and ammo, now we have to worry about panicked citizens being created by foreign enemies and our very own politically partisan media. More than ever, we need to hold our government and our media accountable. More than ever, this country needs to come together because these partisan fights are going to destroy us. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. If you enjoy this content and you want to support my mission, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.